Hi, this is Jason Lewis, Midday's Technophile. Electronic Arts has put in a lot of effort in the latest Star Wars game. They have managed to give us a genuinely good story, peppered with action and a fair amount of puzzles. In fact, it feels a little bit like an Uncharted game Jedi Edition. The protagonist Cal is often seen jumping around, swinging from mines, parkouring off walls, and raiding ancient ruins. Cal is played by Cameron Moynihan. He does a good job of playing the quintessential good guy with no dark leanings. The more interesting character though is his mentor, Ser, played by Deborah Wilson. She outshines Cal in every scene. The bit of Star Wars style comic relief is provided by the droid BD-1 and ship captain Greaves. Get out of there! Get out! That is BD-1. He's with us. The writers of the story should pat themselves on the back for getting so many elements right. This is Master Obi-Wan Kenobi. I regret to report that both are Jedi. The combat in Jedi Fallen Order is also very good. There is something satisfying about wielding a lightsaber and tearing down your enemies. You can also modify a lightsaber which makes it look cool but doesn't actually add any functionality to it. Enemies in the game have a set pattern that lets you know when they're going to attack you, giving you time to get out of the way. This in no way makes the game easier, and you will end up dying a lot. Enemies also vary, like the stormtroopers that are easy to beat, to frustrating mini-bosses that test your limits. You can also die while trying to get around, but it doesn't affect your game much. You always end up at the start of the sequence, letting you try that dangerous stunt all over again. The game also has meditation points scattered throughout. These places can be used to utilize skill points and rest and restore health. However, if you do rest to restore your health, all enemies in the map will respawn and in some cases it was probably better to mind your health than to deal with a tough opponent again. Everything in Fallen Order looks spectacular. You'll find yourself pausing from time to time just to take in the sights. Characters are also recreated faithfully, except for the Wookiees who look like wet rugs. While most of the things in the game are logical, there are some that are just bizarre. For example, going through a set path, Cal can squeeze through the narrowest of gaps. But try getting past a person blocking a restricted area with a two-person gap on either side and Cal can just seem to get through. Similarly, Cal can jump knee-high obstacles, but get to a place where he needs to leap a wall that's taller than him and suddenly his jumping abilities are top-notch. I would have preferred if the game properly blocked areas that are not to be accessed instead of these cheap tricks. I also hated the map system which looks similar to the hologram Star Wars droids project. It was hard to read and it wasn't cool as the movies make it out to be. I would have been a happy camper if they just gave me a choice of a more traditional map. Jedi Fallen Order is a great addition to the Star Wars franchise. It feels part of the universe and still manages to introduce new worlds and monsters. The campaign is very satisfying and the story ends well, which is what you really want from an action adventure game. If you are a fan of Star Wars, Fallen Order is a great game to play, even if you don't actually play video games.